Aww, oh, what childhood memories could be better than sledding down a snow-covered hill on a micro jig, maker of the gripper, work safer, work smarter. Cross cuts or cuts that go across the grain on a board can be difficult to make on a table saw. Most table saws have a miter gauge, something like this one, that you can put the board on and hold it. A lot of times that's not very accurate and it's really hard to set up repeated cuts. A better, more accurate solution is a cross cut sled. Rather than having a single runner to run through a miter slot, it's got two runners and that really helps keep your board square and keeps it from racking side to side. I made this one a few years ago because I needed something quick. It's not very pretty, but it is accurate. The fence is perfectly square to my blade. I don't need the depth to be too wide going this way because most cross cuts are on narrower boards, but I would like it to be a little bit wider so that I can clamp long boards onto it and add some stop blocks. This is gonna be the size of my new one. I'm using three quarter inch plywood, that's 19 millimeters. I cut out these narrow strips for the fences. I'm gonna glue and screw them together. I need to drill some holes in this steel angle iron that I'm gonna to use to reinforce the fence. The idea here is that this metal strip can help keep this long fence straight. And the way I'm gonna set this up is by using this steel level. Even with the two thicknesses of plywood, I can see that it's not perfectly straight. So now I can clamp this to the board. For the runners, I'm using quarter inch or six millimeter plywood. And really it's just trial and error, cutting them and testing them in the slots to see if you get a good fit. And I actually got really lucky on my first try there. You wanted to slide easily without any play back and forth. To attach them to the bottom of the sled, I need to raise them up and I just like to stack some coins in the slots. You could also use washers or nuts. I'll drop these runners on top of those coins and put some glue on them. I can use my fence to help me square up this base piece. It's not real critical that this is square. I'll reinforce those runners with some screws. I can make a cut part way through the base and install the rear fence. Then with the blade raised up, I can set this fence back here and line it square to the blade. This one doesn't have to be perfectly square. It's really just to support the sled. And I'll reinforce that fence with some screws. It is critical that this front fence be square to the blade. So to help me do that, I'm gonna first drill in a pivot screw. Having that pivot point should make squaring this up a little bit easier. I'm gonna use one of these kind of framing squares to square the fence up with the blade. Usually I glue these fences on. This time I'm gonna to try to just use screws in case I ever need to adjust it. I'm gonna see if I can back this out so I can clamp it down without moving the fence. I can test it to make sure that it's still square. Looks good. I glued together this block of wood to act as a safety feature. I'll show you more of it in just a minute. One of the most common uses for a crosscut sled is to make a bunch of repeated cuts that are all perfectly square. So I just take a scrap of wood and clamp it down. I can quickly cut all of these boards the same length.
And here you can see how the blade just gets buried in that block behind the fence. And that block serves as a reminder for me to push from the sides of the block and not the middle. I like to apply paste wax to the sides of the runners and the bottom of the sled to keep it sliding smoothly. And that paste wax is good for the cast iron top of my table saw. Thank you so much for joining me this week on Woodworking for Mere Mortals. Hey, if you really, really like shop projects and jigs and Really, who doesn't? I've got a whole playlist of videos over here you might wanna browse through. I'd also like to remind all of you Mimos to check out my Patreon page and if you can support the show for a couple of dollars a month, I sure appreciate your help. Plus at the higher pledge levels, I've got t-shirts and even a one-on-one -on -one Skype or phone conversation with me. What should we talk about? We could talk about other woodworkers. But all of you can help support the show for free just by liking and sharing this video and telling others about woodworking for beer mortals. Don't forget, keep posting pictures of your projects over at formeermortals.net. It's really fun to see what everybody is building. Thanks everybody, I'll see you next Friday.